I can't paint unless I'm in a pretty um, a comfort zone of things and life and you know animals and <laughs> I've had some of my birds for up to 35 years, I've mostly parrots, and um, I've been taking unwanted pets. That Somebody just found a parakeet on the street and brought it to me recently. Toto loves to be held. What? Bird, come here. Here, bird. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I had a 40-foot cage and I looked at everything through the grid and I just picked up a stick one day and started making these marks. You know, birds and orchids are from other realms, they're not really from the earth. <laughs> so they're kind of a gift to us. You know, the birds are a lifetime commitment and beyond. My psychic had predicted that I was going to buy a plantation in Louisiana and I said I don't want a plantation in Louisiana, maybe a house in New Orleans and the Countess Zogdo Brnevich, who's one of my guides, said I don't care, you're buying a plantation in Louisiana and I've restored it very beautifully and um, I'm a junkie for period furniture and then I get these guided messages to paint things, they wanted a procession of angels and um, they wanted five, but I only painted four, and then the fifth one appeared. Even as a child, I saw things like Iolani Palace, mm -hmm. um, Queen Lily Iolani's palace was uh, filled with Gothic revival furniture. So, you know, some things just touch you as a child. I kind of have this end of the century salon style mm -hmm. taste. <laughs> These are all 19th century frames, mostly East Lake. They're all rabbits. I um, went to India quite a bit in the 80s and studied at ashrams. Uh, and we would, you know, I'd do japa, repeating of mantras every day. In fact, I was just in Istanbul and I got a Sufi mala and went to some very sacred things. And I'd wake up every morning and do mantra repetition. You know, people think repetition is a negative thing and actually you know when you're repeating and I say a mantra when I make my stick um, I call I call it cross hatching I use the back of a brush and whittle it to a point and after I've finished painting a painting I make these cross hatch marks which was supposed to be to make it look like you know I was looking through the grid which is the way I lived for 24 years but um, I believe there's something sacred about repetition, and I always believe there was something sacred about turtles, which I could never eat a turtle. 